what's up, YouTube? Um, I'm gonna... I have my Vanguard stuff for sale. Sale only. I'm trying to quit, so if you guys want to buy stuff individually or a bulk... A bulk is preferred if you guys want to buy bulk because... Um, uh, if you buy more, uh, I'll give you a better deal. So, um, yeah. Uh, those are two marks. Uh, Garmors. Uh, this one's not for trade. Um, these are the the first print ones where it says library, so I value them more, like a dollar more. So, uh, um, I have a lot more. Here's like a bunch of commons um, in here. Um, I'll take out the Yu-Gi-Oh um, later, but here's a bunch of commons. So. Uh, So yeah. Um, also, I have, I have a bunch more commons in here. Um, I have a Spike Brothers skeleton in here um, for sale if you want to buy uh, Spike Brothers. So um, yeah, this is the that was a sale part. Now it's time for the rant. I'm gonna title this. Um, I don't have no clue. I'll title it some other time. Um, so the rant is. Um, I'm just, uh, this, this game is just so bad right now uh, at the moment, like, you just, there's a lot of support and whatnot, but, um, there's a lot of support for, for clans, which is cool, but it just, I'm really tired of just one trick pony, um, the one trick pony is, uh, the f fact that one deck only has one play style, um, um, one f uh, one play style like gold paladins. It's just spectral duke, spectral duke, Ezel, spectral duke. Um, relying on those cards just by themselves which is just a really annoying. Um, uh, Ott. Um, I I love the I love the clan and all, but um, the fact that you just whoever like draw 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 draw. Um, uh, Narakami Kagro. Retire, retire, retire. Um, other stuff. So, uh, all those clans, they're just really boring to me right now. Um, unlike Yu-Gi-Oh right now, uh, they have different, so many different playstyles for just one deck. Like Windups, such a good, such uh, so many plays. Um, unlike Yu-Gi-Oh. So yeah. Um, I'm getting distracted by TV, but yeah. Um, other th other things. Um, the bad parts about this game. Competitively, you cannot uh, take this game seriously. If your grade stuck, your grade stuck until you draw your next grade, which is pretty bad. <sighs> you just uh, being grade stuck is just the worst feeling in the planet. Um, sorry, I'm just really tired too. Uh, I just can't sleep. It... But, um, I've been great, I was great stuck before at grade one. Um, and my, f and my opponent went all the way to two. And my opponent was really bad. He played the full Gansalot ride chain. Um, he didn't even have a assaults. He didn't even have Alfreds. It's just a random deck that just went all the way to grade 3. I had a complete soulless think tank deck. Competitive, ready to go. I was just grade stuck. It was so bad. Um, I couldn't even defend myself because I couldn't get my um, Coco ride off to Lala and then get the plus 2 and plus 3 and all those crazy shenanigans. Oh my gosh. Uh, just Vanguard. I'm, I'm sorry, Bushiroad, you made a great game, but it's just competitive wise. This is not the game to be competitive in. Vanguard is just for those who who should play casually. Um, uh, uh, sackiness is just so bad. Um, being super sacky is just how you win in this game, and I don't like games that are super sacky. This is why I play Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, right now, the meta is not so bad. Uh, so like it, it has a it has a lot of skill involved in Yu-Gi-Oh right now to get your stuff done. Um, so wind ups, it's just there's Magician Shark, 
but there's also, if you don't open up that, it's a really skillful deck. Um, Macro Rabbit's really skillful. Uh, Merlantians, they're autopilot. And in my opinion, just get Megalo out punch. Um, so yeah, just a lot of skill involved. And Vanguard is just, the only skill that you can have is who attack order and... Um, uh, let me get the better page out. Um, yeah, there we go. Attack order and defense. If you want to overguard, underguard, see if they sack it, but it's just decisions in Vanguard are just not good. Because if you could just, if you're just like, okay, one to pass, and then they get that one, and you're just like, aw, oh, fudge. And you just lose because you thought they wouldn't get the trigger. Um, what else? Um, also, uh, they made this new unit um, for Gold Paladins, and this is what was the last straw for me. This is what made me just not want to play anymore. This is what I don't like about this game anymore. I'm just done with this game. No more. I'm not, I'm not going to come back unless I play casually, but tournament-wise, heck no. So I'm just going to straight up say... The new stru structure decks are just crap. They are just so overpowered, um, over overpowered um, and broken because the limit break for the trial decks are just insanely broken. The card is a grade three. It's it's against a lot um, gold paladin and then like some new Narakami card. I don't know their names, but they're they're uh, I'll do the limit break later. Their effects is. Um, they have the Lord effect, so if you have a different clan name, a different clan um, in the deck, it can attack. And if it's boosted, I think um, it gains plus 2k. And its limit break is when another grade 3 rides over it, it, gain, it gains 10,000. That's just insane. Um, so imagine this going to the Narkami one, riding um, Vermilion over that, then going, okay. It's already swinging for 21 by itself. Go limit break. 23. Boosted by the 10k. That's 33. Can attack the full front row. I know you're going to get perfect guard, but you can just. It's just so big. It's not even funny. And then Ezel be like, okay, it's 20,000 right now. Full field. No, no, um, 3 on the field. 23. Limit break twice. Sack two 10ks. That is. 43? No, 45. Boost it. That's 50k. I know you're gonna get perfect guarded, but there are those chances you don't get perfect guarded. And that chance is just so bad. Um, and you have to minus yourself gigantically for it. Um, and then, uh, what's it called? Um, they did amazingly supporting um, decks in the past when they set one through five the the cards were perfectly balanced the way they separated the support is perfectly balanced and then when they went to from set six all the way to set um, nine it was just like gold talents were almost in every set I did not like that if they didn't do that um, for the for gold paladins I would be happier if they didn't give them the Pelinor build um, I would be really happy just give that give the slots from the from the bunnies. Give it to Narakami. Narakami was a very under supported deck. It didn't get support until set eight, and the set eight support is just flat out disgusting. It didn't even support Narakami. It did not um, support their playstyle, which is attacking the vanguard and attacking hard. Dungri is just okay. I can snipe stuff. That's it. But then I lose a lot of power if I don't have anything in my um, remove from play. Remove from play, I don't know the specifics for an Arakami. And then it's like ride, you have to keep riding Dungri, just keep it from being a giant 9k. Um, I hate that fact. And then it took them until set 9 to give them a cross ride, but the deck's still very under supported. Um, there, there's only te technically 
one build of Narakami, and it's the blood build. That is it. Um, that's the most competitive build. In Gold Paladins, you have Pelinor, the straight up Ezel, Garmor bunnies, um, Spectral Duke. It's just, there's so many play, uh, builds for that. It's just, I'm just tired of this game. I'm tired how they cared for this one clan specifically for almost four or five months. I'm just so mad at it. So, um, just, if you, if you want any of my stuff, just hit me up. I can sell cards individually, um, collection, but collection, you have to pay for shipping. Um, shipping actually costs quite a bit, actually. So, thanks, guys. Peace out.